Caring is the cornerstone of what happens at Chilton. As I round through the hospital, I personally enjoy having the opportunity to help our patients and their families and our staff as part of the care process at Chilton. The stories of the people you're about to witness talk about how do people feel that their lives have been impacted by Chilton. And I believe our hospital is truly a thread in the fabric of the community. And I believe these stories will help to represent that. I'm an OBGYN in private practice. I've been affiliated with Chilton since October of 1995. April of 2012, I realized I was a couple of months late with my mammogram and I made my appointment at the Chilton Breast Center, went in for my routine mammogram, and I'm always very nosy, I always hop right off the table, go over, look at the films, even though I don't really know what I'm looking at. And I saw this little area at, that with calcifications and the tech said, um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to take a closer look at those. I picked up the phone and I called my husband and I'm sobbing. I said, I have breast cancer, I have breast cancer. And it was pretty awful. When I broke the news to my kids, it was very upsetting and everybody cried and everyone was scared. I did not hesitate to make the decision to have my treatment here at Chilton. I felt very comfortable with my choice of doctors, and I knew that I would get excellent care. Everybody was very responsive to my needs. Nobody ever saw, you know, allowed me to have discomfort. I feel that Chilton saved my life. I feel that the diagnosis being made so early, before it became an invasive cancer, and the definitive treatment that I received I'm cured. My name is Cadence Bernstein and I am eight years old. My grandmother is very protective and she's very loving. I like to shop with her and I like to um, go mini golfing with her. She's really good. <laughs> I heard that my grandmother had cancer a few years ago, so I wanted to raise money so that other people can live like my grandmother did. I made these rubber band bracelets in the color of pink and white for cancer. Here's one, it's called the Double Diamond. Here's another one, this is the regular. I sold them at birthday parties, at play dates. Yeah, I sold them wherever I could go. My sales pitch, I would say, well, these are rubber band bracelets that I made to raise money for Children's Hospital to use to cure cancer. My grandmother said she was really proud of me that I was doing something for people like her. It made me feel really good inside that I'm doing something right. January 16th, 2013, a day I'll never forget. <sighs> Out in the backyard, I transformed my garage into a workout room, and it was my daily routine of mine uh, to start my day. I get my blood going, if you will, and uh, had the weight on my back. Um, and on the third rep, boom, I felt, oh, what the heck was that? And I said, hey, all right, I'm okay. Um, but I'm just gonna, I'm done now. I'm gonna go and try to shake this off. And the next thing you know, I was down on the ground and out. You know, I always heard about the seeing the light. And at that time, I was in a, uh, a tube of light and I began to pray. I prayed to see my wife. I wanted to say goodbye to her. My wife came running in. She saw me on the ground and 
uh, had her phone in her hand and 911 it. They kept asking me, well, I just, uh, you know, I got this warm feeling in my upper chest and, you know, something shot up my neck and I, I just, and, and I, I can't feel my legs or my feet. I needed open heart surgery right away. I just remember sirens and Dr. Khalees on one side and another nurse on the other and checking my vitals the whole way. Um, they just kept reassuring me it's going to be okay. Seven hours later or whatever, and I woke with a few tubes in me and whatnot, but uh, I'm here to tell about it. If it wasn't for Chilton, Steve wouldn't be here. They're the people that saved my life. You know, it started there. For that, I'll never, ever forget the people that served me that day. We really pride ourselves on advanced diagnoses, great treatment, and providing that within a caring environment. We have what you need in our community hospital. Caring, technology, quality, and access. I want you to think, why would you go anywhere else?